The 5 Best Places to Visit in New Zealand New Zealand is only 1,000 miles long, 280 miles across at its widest, and home to just under 5 million people, but this long, narrow country contains many things to see and do. Travelers can ski on snow-capped mountains and bask on subtropical beaches, learn about Maori culture and discover its British heritage, sip on some of the world's finest wines and hike through the uninhabited wilderness. Whatever travel experiences you enjoy, you can probably find them in New Zealand. But before starting the video please, thumbs up and hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, so let's get started. 5. Tongariro National Park on the high central plateau of Central North Island, Tongariro National Park is a dual UNESCO World Heritage Site, listed both for its natural and cultural significance. Most sites and activities revolve around three volcanic peaks, Mounts Tongariro, Ruapehu, and Noraho. The Tongariro Alpine Crossing is a moderately challenging day hike that is spectacular. In winter, ski at the Vakapupa or Taroa ski fields. Four. Karamandal Peninsula. The Karamandal Peninsula reaches 50 miles into the Hauraki Gulf, across the Firth of Thames from Auckland. It's a microcosm of all that's good in northern New Zealand, stunning beaches, hiking trails, and arty, laid-back towns. During low tide at Hot Water Beach, dig a few inches beneath the sand to create your own natural hot spring bath, spend the day at Cathedral Cove, one of New Zealand's most beautiful beaches which is saying something, and hike the Pinnacles Walker Caramandel Coastal Walkway. 3. Hokianga Harbour. The Hokianga Harbour is an alternative to the Bay of Islands, often overlooked by travelers and perfect for camping or RV adventures. The area is sparsely populated and predominantly Maori. Dune boarding, hiking, horse trekking, and dolphin watching are popular activities in the Hokianga. Base yourself in one of the nearby villages of Omapuri, Opononi, and Rawane. To expand your exploration, the Waipoua Forest, just south of the Hokianga, is home to two of the largest living native kauri trees. Two, Waitangi. Waitangi is one of the most significant places in New Zealand's modern history. In 1840, Maori chiefs signed a treaty with representatives of the British Crown, the Treaty of Waitangi, a founding document that gave the sovereignty of New Zealand to British rule. Visit for a crash course in the country's history in this beautiful coastal location. The Waitangi Treaty grounds include an indoor museum, the Treaty House, an ornately carved Marae Maori Meeting House, and a ceremonial waka canoe spread over a large area. There are beautiful views of the Bay of Islands. 2. Rotorua. On the central North Island, Rotorua is famous for its geothermal features and Maori culture. Travelers short on time can visit on a day trip from Auckland, but it's a convenient stop when traveling through the North Island. Hell's Gate, Waio Tapu, or Oraki Koriko on the way to Taupo are good options for bubbling mud pools, boiling geysers, colorful rock formations, and many resorts and holiday parks in the area have hot spring bathing facilities. You can also learn more about Maori culture at tourist villages like Mitai, Whakariwariwa, and Tamaki with their cultural shows of traditional music and dancing in a hongi meal cooked in an underground pit. So guys that's all for today. Hope you guys like the video. If you like the video please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thank you.